If you just want endless beach to yourself with nice waves, palm trees in the background, I mean, Chikawa is a little slice of paradise for you then. Beautiful Chikawa. Good morning from the incredible, sleepy coastal surf town of Chikawa. Mexico. Now, chances are you've probably never heard of Chicago, Mexico. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly why we made the long, strenuous journey just to get to this strip of beach. So let me tell you why. So two days ago, we arrived in the Backpacker Digital Nomad Hub of Puerto Escondido on the Pacific Coast in the state of Oaxaca, Mexico. Now we will be back to explore all of Puerto Escondido, so stay tuned for next week's video if you want to see that. But when we arrived two days ago, we arrived late at night, ended up staying the night, and yesterday morning made the long trek here to Chacawa. So I'm going to explain first exactly how to get here because it's not easy and then I'll be telling you exactly why we came to Chicago, Mexico. So yesterday morning we woke up, first we took a taxi to the center of Puerto Escondido, from there we took a colectivo, which is a shared taxi in the form of a bus or a little minivan to the town of El Zapotalito. From there, we took another colectivo, this time in the form of the back of a truck to a little dock area. From there, we took a boat across a lagoon and through mangroves. From there, we took another colectivo, again in the form of the back of a truck, here to Chacawa, Mexico. So it was quite the journey, it took a couple hours to get here, but well, worth it. So let me tell you guys now exactly why we came to Chikawa. Chikawa is really for the adventurous traveler that wants to come find a nice local place on the beach that is not yet too developed, go for a surf maybe, go for long walks on the beach, play beach soccer with the locals, play some volleyball, read a book, maybe do a little yoga, meditation, but really just relax and take a break from the hustle and bustle and the big tourist hubs of Puerto Escondido or Sayulita, Mexico or other beach towns where tons of people tend to congregate. Here in Chicago, you'll find a much more local vibe, a much more local atmosphere. You can connect and talk with the locals and really see how they live. All right, now let me give you guys a little tour of where we are staying. So this is our room here. It is quite basic, as I mentioned. There is one bed for Stone, one bed for me. There's a little mosquito net here to wrap around the bed because the mosquitoes here are no joke. No joke. I mean, it's bad, you definitely need your bug spray. Um, then there are a couple windows. We got two fans. And then the bathroom is just a toilet. Yes, there's no seat. And then the shower as well. And then a little sink. So that is our entire room. Um, as I mentioned, relatively basic. Don't expect any air conditioning, any really nice accommodation here in Chikawa. Um, we checked out a couple cabanas when we got here. We didn't book anything in advance and this was the nicest one we saw without seeing too many. Um, basically when you come here you can just walk along the beach and check out a bunch of different cabanas which are little like wooden rooms like this and we negotiated and ended up paying 500 pesos per night which is 25 US dollars per night so $12.50 for me and $12.50 for stone. If you are looking for something more on the budget side, there are tents, so you can rent a tent on the beach. I'm not quite sure how much it is, but I think it's only a couple US dollars 
or there are a couple places that have shared rooms. Um, we found one for 150 pesos, which was $7.50 each. So for five more US dollars, we decided to get our own room and have our own bathroom. So now that you've seen the place, I will take you guys to get some lunch. Despite not having a five-star hotel room, we do have a beautiful view of the ocean and stone. So we found a place with a nice little beachfront dining for lunch. All right, so this is the town of Chikawa. You just have your little supermarket there, and then basically one or two little restaurants and another little store. And that is the town. All right, so we're walking into the one little supermarket type thing here in Chakawa. Well, I told you the town here in Chakawa is really small. So now that we have explored the town of Chakawa, I'm going to try to take a little boat across the little lagoon here to the other side which is supposed to have some little lighthouse and maybe a little beach to swim at, so let's see. All right, so I made it across the little lagoon area and the boat that was supposed to come didn't actually come and a couple nice locals came and let me ride with them for free across the lagoon, which was super nice. So now I'm hiking up to the lighthouse, which is called El Faro, and then we'll show you guys it in just a second. And there's the lighthouse. After a 10 minute trek through the woods, we've made it. Ah. Look at how beautiful Chicawa, Mexico is. Beautiful Chicawa. I've been searching for a place like Chikawa for a while now. It feels like it's been so long since I've stumbled upon a place like Chikawa where you really still have that local, rich cultural experience. You have incredible landscapes with the ocean and green rolling mountains and palm trees everywhere. And it's really a place that you can connect with the locals. You can learn about yourself and learn about how other people live. And this is really why I love travel so much and experiencing places like Chikawa where everything is still so authentic and the locals are so kind and you have incredible landscapes and just it's places like these where you build those incredible long-lasting forever memories of travel i'm just so grateful that i came to chikawa and am literally experiencing this so incredible wow all right so i'm making my way down from the lighthouse and it is hot, so I am going to go for a dip in the ocean, which by the way, the ocean is so warm. I was shocked. All right, so last night we ended up just getting a nice little surf session in, had some dinner, relaxed, went to bed, and unfortunately, now it is time to leave the lovely, incredible, sleepy town of Chacawa. And of course, we got a long way back to Puerto Escondido. And this is gonna be our first stop. Let's go. Gracias. All right, so after a couple of buses, colectivos, taxis, and boats, we are back in Puerto Escondido. So I'm gonna end the vlog here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want others to discover the beautiful town of Chikawa, then make sure to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for weekly travel vlogs. I'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego.